One in ten students are considered persistently absent. What if that was you? What if you decided you couldn't be bothered one day? Could that take your education away? Just think about it for a second. That day last week you took off because you were feeling under the weather. Could you have carried on? Could you achieve better? Come on, Alan. Yeah, and this is more ready. Come on, get him, Debbie. Oh, wow. Well, well, <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Ellie that day, and I'm late for school. She can't be bothered. She feels like she's too, too cool. See, that's the thing. There's lasting effects. While it's the easier option now, it can cause regrets. And Molly was a student. He used to get eights and nines. She was predicted good grades and barely stepped out of line. But as she got older, she stopped wanting to attend. And she chose to stay in bed or chill with a friend. See, the thing is here, Molly refused to sit. Just how important these odd days off would prove to be. Are you going to school tomorrow? What lessons have we got? Maths, English. History, then scholarship, I think. Nah, those lessons are boring. Wait, what about scholarship? That's not until the end of the day, though. Exactly. But you can't miss school. It's, it's important. I'll show sure Paul for TV. Gee, nice one, Adam. Well, well, I think Mr. Bowles will be annoyed at you if you miss another lesson. What are you going to do? Tell on me. It was your time! It's the start of a new term, and I, Mr. Bullard, I've got something special planned for my rugby scholarship students. Eleanor, Emily, Dasha, Alfie, Ellie, and Molly. Where's Molly? I've got a scout coming today, she's one of our top players. Why isn't she here? Um, she isn't very well. She's got uh, tonsillitis. She's really sick. Yeah, runny nose and everything. Is there something you want to say, Alfie? She couldn't have to come to school today, sir. Oh. Get right, I've stuck my neck out for this girl to tell me to hand. Come on, get on with it. See, the thing is, while I was laid in bed, Mr. Bulls had a great lesson planned for us. They had a Rover Scout come in, and they was giving away scholarships. Year, Year six. six! Good, Good morning, Mrs. Spicer. Good morning, everybody. And today I'm teaching a lesson on careers. So, what do we all want to be when we grow up? Emily? A princess. Wow, that's fantastic. Adam? A race car driver. Well, that's interesting. As long as you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. Molly? I want to be a famous rugby player. Well, I haven't heard that one before. Well, as long as you try your best, you can do anything you want. See, when we were younger, we all had dreams. Jobs want to aim for, but sometimes it seems that the world is our oyster and we can strive to reach our goals. No mountain is too high, we have control. Of all our paths and we're aiming high, but at some point in some place we start to forget the reasons why. See, as we get older, we start to lose sight of the things that are important. We almost give up the fight. But if we attend and stick to the rules, think about the impact and turn up to school, we can break down those barriers we can achieve. We are invincible if only we believe. So make the right choices, do the right thing, think of your future and the content it will bring. Are you going to school tomorrow? Yeah, what lessons have we got? Maths, English. History, then scholarship, I think. Yeah, those lessons are important. I actually need some help with maths. How can we be Joshua? Or oh, Alfie, shut your TV. Leave him alone. You, you won't be saying that when you get six and nines. Will be. Knock off! That was oh, wrong with this! Oh, oh, that oh, oh, should be a penalty. I'm a rugby talent scout from the nearby team, and Mr. Bullards has invited me here to observe his class. Thank you, Mr. Bullards. I've seen enough. Now, I'm very pleased with what I've seen here today. Thank you for attending. Now, this year's rugby scholars are... Daria. Alfie. And... Molly. This day would have been so different if I hadn't attended. 
One in ten students are considered persistently absent. What if that was you? What if you decided you couldn't be bothered one day? Could that take your education away? Just think about it for a second. That day last week you took off because you were feeling under the weather. Could you have carried on? Could you achieve better? I'm Ellie and I got a grade 8 in my drama and maths PPEs in year 9 and I'm also part of the Spotlight Scholarship. I'm Alfie and I'm involved in the school choir and also productions and, and also the Spotlight Scholarship. I'm Gary and I'm involved in the Amy P and Erasmus programme. I also got a grade 9 in my geography PP last year. I'm Emily and I'm involved in the Erasmus programme and Amy P. I'm Eleanor, I'm part of the Amy P programme and I'm also currently writing a novel. I'm Adam and I'm ex rugby scholarship but now I'm spotlight scholarship. I'm Molly and I got a main part in our school productions in Year 9 and I'm also a P mentor. Could you have carried on? Could you achieve better?